Hi, I'm Kaz from What's New in Electronics at Electronica 2022 and today I'm joined by Alistair from RF Global Solutions. Hello to you. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm very well, How thank you. How is the show going for you It's so been far? good, it's been busy. I think everybody's really enjoying sort of seeing everyone. Yep. Again, after Covid, it's obviously been quite a lengthy, lengthy time where we've not seen our friends and our colleagues and everyone working with for a long time. So it's just nice to you know, get that human interaction again, I think. Absolutely. In terms of your visitors as well, I mean, obviously the footfall here has been amazing. Yeah. We've seen so many new visitors and past And everyone's so enthusiastic as well. Yes. So everybody's really looking, you know, looking yeah. forward to meeting everyone again. And obviously tonight we've got the whiskey in the booth, so it's like a, quite a popular. <laughs> you did not tell me that one. <laughs> everybody's welcome, five o'clock. Oh my goodness. By the time this goes out, I'm hoping that we <laughs> get the right time zone. But so the reasons, obviously, coming to a show like this, yeah. from your perspective, obviously not just meeting people, what else is it you're wanting to so it's share? Really, yeah, it's really to grow the business. So during COVID, we spent a lot of money on the facility. We spent a lot of money on up, upskilling guys, getting more guys in. So we've got, now we've got more engineers than what we've ever had in the past. Um, we've also spent a lot on consumable parts, which we use to facilitate the repairs. Mm-hmm. Um, which is a big thing for us because we turn a repair around in two or three days, mm-hmm. which for the industry is almost unheard of. Mm-hmm. And partly the reason we can do that is because we've got a massive inventory mm-hmm. of consumable parts, so it allows us to you know, give that service to a customer. Mm-hmm. Um, also what happened during COVID was like a lot of parts became harder to get yep. and things became obsolete, so we've used the time to actually develop our own replacement parts. Okay. We've spent a lot of money and time in R&D, so we're now able to sort of do a, a lot of repairs that we weren't able to do previously, but also we're able to support technology that the OEMs have drawn support from, and we reckon we'll be able to support it for the next decade, decade and a half ahead. So it's really good from a green credential point of view, it's good from a budget point of view. Yes. So. And in terms of like the shortages, obviously that's a big skills gap, yeah. you know, with a lot of conversations that, you yeah. know, tend to, be, tend to be on those subjects at the moment. And from your perspective, providing those solutions, how how how's it been met? Well, what we've done is we've started working with a, a local um, academia. Okay. So we have set up relationships with the local colleges and universities and we've now got a graduate programme and a, a programme where we take people that have completed their HNDs. Um, we've also got a programme now where people that have done their HNC that are in their HND, they only do sort of two days at college. So what we do is we take them in for, the, for two days a week as well, mm-hmm. whilst they're finishing off the HND with a view to them having a full-time job at the end of it. That works really good for the kids because it means that they end up with practical experience as well as the, yeah. the academia and they've also got the opportunity to get a job. Yeah. If they choose not to come to us or you know they're, they're not suitable for the, the business, then they've still got a lot of practical experience that they can go to the workplace with, which is quite unique. So, so that's worked out quite well. That's fantastic. And yeah. so for 2023? Any so 2023, <laughs> more of the same. I think really? we want to continue um, yeah. steady growth. We yeah. don't want to do anything too dramatic because we want to be able to continue to provide the two to three day um, turnaround. We don't want to you know, take on too much work and the lead time goes down the way because the lead times are very important to our customers. But um, steady growth. Um, we've got another two people starting. Um, in January on the two days for, that are doing their HNDs with the view to potentially becoming full time in July. So there's lots going on. We're offering training now, so we've got a lot of UK fabs are coming up. Right. Um, and we're going to be doing some basic diagnostic training, which is quite new to us as well, mm-hmm. which will allow the fabs to actually properly identify what's faulty before right. they send it to us, which you know is a, we believe will be a real game changer for the customers. Most definitely. So. And so in terms of your thoughts in terms of how you can make sure that those components aren't faulty? Is there a quality control that you have on that? Yeah. How does that get so we've make sp- sure? We've spent a lot of time and it really comes down to training and communication yeah. as well. So the more we communicate with the customers, the more confident they are in actually properly diagnosing, yeah. is it an RF match? Is it a generator? Or does a fault lie elsewhere? Yes. Um, because quite often some people in the past have thought, oh, the tool's not working, just pull the generator and send it to us. And actually it's not been faulty. So they, you know, that's cost them time Absolutely. from sending it to us. Um, that's particularly important with their international clients. Mm-hmm. You know, if somebody's sending something from the States or Japan, yeah. you know, it's, it, it can become a bit of a problem. So we really want to upskill mm-hmm. our customers um, and the engineers that they've got so that they're you know, sending us equipment that actually does need to be repaired. And so in terms of if people watching this and wanted to find out more, what's, 
where would you want to send them so in terms of they can contact us from the website yep. um, they can email um, all the contact details are online um, sales at rfglobalsocials.co.uk um, you know we, we answer pretty much all throughout the night you've got customers in America yeah, and course, Asia yeah. so it really is 24 hour you won't wait very long yeah. before you've had a reply <laughs> <laughs> fantastic and I said it's been great to talk to you thank so. you so much thanks so much thank you. cheers